Hi, my name is Joel and I'm an ecologist with the BCT based in the Sydney Hunter region. Many of our landholders have experienced firsthand the impacts of bushfires on their properties. At the BCT, we are committed to helping landholders recover from these fires, prepare for future fire events, and restore the biodiversity on their properties as quickly and robustly as possible. Now, of course, fires are a natural part of the Australian landscape, but let's look at some strategies to help the landscape to best recover, particularly after a really hot fire. When talking about fire recovery in conservation areas, we follow the principle of renews. The renews framework provides us with a pathway towards recovery following a fire event. Firstly, rest. Bushfires and other fire events are traumatic experiences and can have lasting emotional and psychological impacts on the people who experience them. It's critical that you provide yourself, your family and community and your animals time to rest after a fire. It's also important to take some time away from the burnt area if you can, as freshly burnt areas have an increased risk of damaged trees, branches and limbs falling for several months after a fire has gone out. It is during this early phase of recovery that we recommend you contact the BCT to inform us of the fire event and access the support that we can provide. Next, emerge. After a period of time away, we suggest you return to the burnt area and observe the positive signs of regeneration. Many people are amazed at how quickly after a major fire event, the natural recovery begins. Epicormic growth will be sprouting from eucalyptus trees and green tips may be evident in native grasses and ferns. As this fresh growth appears, birds and other native animals will begin returning to burnt areas. See what you can do to help native wildlife during this time. Consider giving native fauna a helping hand by establishing and maintaining simple water and food stations on your property. It's at this time that you should begin to restore essential services such as track access and fences. When doing this, make sure you're especially conscious of soil disturbance, as soils are particularly susceptible to erosion following a major fire. At this time, you should start to note the effects that the fire has had on your property and monitor the process of regeneration. This can be as simple as taking a daily walk along a designated path and taking note of the changes you see. Consider setting up photo points to visually document the changes over time in areas of different vegetation and levels of fire activity. Try and identify new seedlings and record signs of wildlife returning by looking for scats, animal tracks and evidence of feeding on new growth or on the feeding stations you've established. You can also set up motion sensor cameras to record nocturnal animals and those that pass through the property in your absence. Once you have a good understanding of the impact the fire has had, it's time to enact a basic restoration plan with realistic goals for the next one to three years. It's a good idea to draw a simple map which notes priority areas where you know perennial and woody weeds may exist. Take note of patches of bush which have been less affected by fire as these could become important resources of seed. Make sure to retain fallen timber to limit the impact of erosion and to provide habitat for ground dwelling native species. Remember to wait at least a year to see what trees and shrubs naturally regenerate before starting any supplementary planting. A major priority for your restoration plan will be weed control. Exotic weeds may emerge with vigour and try to overcome native plants. Consider taking advantage of the lack of understory growth to tackle weeds in areas that would otherwise be hard to access. It will be important to continue with follow-up control in successive years. Stay flexible and amend your targets as time goes on based on realistic goals. Remember, the BCT is here to help you develop your weed control program and may be able to provide financial assistance for this work. And speaking of assistance, don't forget that support is there if you need it. We invite you to contact the BCT info line or your local BCT representative and actively engage with us during each phase of your fire recovery. In addition, stay in touch with other local services such as land care and local land services and seek out assistance from other NGOs and localised services who can be a wealth of knowledge for specialised support in areas such as ecosystem recovery, wildlife care and importantly, emotional support for you and your family. Recovering from a fire event can be very challenging, so I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to the BCT. We have teams across the state and we are here ready to help.